so nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time Hi. to talk to me. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Well, I am a huge fan of From. I've been watching it since the first season. I've had all my friends binge watch it with me. We're all obsessed. So I want to say congratulations on season two. What has that been like filming it and now having it out and getting people's reaction from it? I just, I love seeing everybody's reaction online and, you know, in person, like family and friends who watch the show. I just love hearing them be like, I was so scared. You know, I've seen a couple of episodes of my family like, watching them jump and stuff stuff it's it's great to see you know the show that you put so much like hard work into and blood and sweat and tears and stuff like get so well received from everyone it's it's a very very rewarding feeling definitely and season one alone left off on a huge cliffhanger season two has already had a lot of jump scares what can fans of season season one expect from season two in your opinion I think that fans of season one can expect the same scares, like the same kind of vibe they had in season one, but amplified. I think it's going to be a lot more this year. The stakes are a lot higher. It's way more intense. Later episodes to come. I'm specifically like referencing episode six. I watched that episode and I was very, very scared. Um, So I think that the audience is really going to like, and they're also going to appreciate some answers that are coming their way. Yes, I just watched episode six yesterday and it is phenomenal. Oh yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A lot's happening in the plot, but I'm wondering, the Fremily is so huge. Do you have a favorite or most memorable fan encounter from your time with this series? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I did the Instagram takeover on the From One MGM account. And so I got to speak to so many fans and I got to read all their stuff and what well, it's not one exact thing all of the comments that I received were just like so kind so nice and they just I love seeing people be as passionate about the show as I am and how much I love to do it so I really really every message that I get and everything I receive is just it it goes right to my heart it's very kind definitely and I mean how have you seen your character grow from season one to season two because obviously she has been through a lot since this series started yeah well she's definitely she definitely went through quite a quite a bit of growth between season one and season two with um, the potential of losing both her parents and her fears that if she does she'll have to take care of Ethan by herself and really really have to step up into a leadership role that would be like thrust upon her so I think that that definitely whips Julie into shape and she knows that and she needs to be a part of the family and that this is the most important thing to her and it's not about her and her independence it's about family like that's all she has in this town. Mm, definitely. And I mean, if you personally could describe this season as a whole in three words, what would they be? I'm going to say thrilling, gory, and scary. I don't know what's a good word. <laughs> it's okay. It works. It works. But I'm wondering, you personally, would you be able to survive this if you were thrown in there right now? I don't know. No? absolutely not I'm always like these apocalypse people how do you do it how do you hold on but I understand you know love and that's why they they choose to hold on to what they have but I'm like this isn't for me we're losing food no I'm out no, not not for me yeah you just want your beauty sleep and tv I do. And unlimited second food I run out of my second I run out of my skincare I'm out I'm like, nope <laughs> definitely but I mean Honestly, the whole cast and crew is so close and tight knit. I'm wondering, have you guys talked about a possible season three and what would you want to see for it ideally? Yeah, I mean, everybody would love to have a season three. That's, you know, the goal. And there's like plot points that we talk about while we were still getting the scripts for season two. We'd love to see this. We'd love to see this. There's some characters that I think have a really good dynamic. Like off the top of my head, I think Ethan and Jade have such an interesting dynamic together. So I'd love to see, you know, the kid and then like the kind of asshole get together and maybe work together. I think that there's just so many things that can still be explored in the show. And yeah, I don't know. I don't want to give anything away, but yeah, there's there's some good stuff that can be done with what we have. Yeah, I would love to see that storyline. Let's pitch it to them right now. <laughs> calling, calling John Griffin right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But do you have a favorite moment or memory from your time on set, either this season or last season? Because I've heard a few stories from other castmates so far. Yeah, there's there were some good days. The um the first few episodes with all the stuff in 
the diner. Those were really fun because I was getting to meet everybody for the first time. And it was just, it was so, it was like a breath of fresh air meeting these people and seeing them click so well with everyone. Mm-hmm. So I really look back on that with fond memories and, you know, me and Ricky, he, we had lots of laughs on set during the diner. And even though it was like intense stuff in there, like, you know, Chloe and Liz Saunders and everybody, they were just, it was so much fun to work with everybody. So I look back on that with good memories. Yeah. And hopefully there's more memories to come. Oh yes. Hopefully. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations on everything again. Thank you so much. Thank you.